happy people i'm back with another video and today i'm going to be reviewing some new gel polishes that are going to be released from madam glam today um they're going to be launching their pot of gold collection and so they did send me four shades from their collection so i just wanted to show you guys what they are so i'm going to get this unboxed with you all here on camera so these are the four shades that they sent me. Um, these look like some really beautiful, vibrant colors for the upcoming spring slash summer months. So let's take a closer look at each of them, okay? The first color we have here is Lucky Charm, which is cute. That kind of fits the name of the new collection, Pot of Gold. So let's take a look at it here. Ooh. This is a really pretty kind of creamy yellowish orange color this is definitely giving spring vibes summer vibes i love this really nice bright vibrant color next we have this green which is in little secret okay Ooh, this is a really beautiful pastel green really really nice this is giving me easter vibes you guys <laughs> both of these colors are giving me easter time we have orange poppy Oh, okay. This is a really pretty. I thought this would be a little bit more orangey than what it is, but it actually looks a little bit more peachy. That's a nice little peachy orange color. Last but not least, we have here is Treasure. Oh, very pretty. Okay, so this here is a beautiful kind of pinkish. This here is a really beautiful kind of pinkish shimmer color i wonder if this is similar to those other two colors from their last collection that has those really fine foils in it it kind of looks like that a little bit let me see if i can pull those colors really quick these are the two colors from their last collection for valentine's day so it definitely is a different color i would say this one is probably a little bit closer to this one here so let's kind of take a look at them side by side this one here is glazed amore okay now they're definitely different okay but yeah, it does look like they're made of like that same um, consistency or whatnot. You see, it looks like they're kind of made with that same kind of like, um, looks like they're made with that same foil um, glitter shimmer that's kind of in there. So that's pretty cool. They, they're coming out with more of those. So this one kind of gives me more of a rose gold vibe. So and yeah, y'all, let's get the swatching. Lucky Charm. Oh, that's pretty. This is a really pretty color nice bright vibrant like i said it kind of gives like a little yellow orange vibe really good opacity nice smooth and creamy oh yeah these are nice polishes very nice a little secret oh yeah this is a really beautiful easter green color i love that very cute orange poppy oh nice yeah these are really pretty you guys I love it really nice fun colors here for the spring again this is their pot of gold collection honestly the pot of gold name I would have thought that it would have been kind of for um, St. Patrick's Day right more greens and stuff but um, yeah it's really pretty though treasure Oh, gorgeous. Yeah, that's really nice. I really enjoy these shades from Madam Glam. The ones that they do with like the little fine foils in there. This is really pretty. It's so densely packed, right? Like, oh, it just gives your eyes something to look at, you know? This is really pretty. And it's one coat coverage, you guys. They do not skimp on that glitter, all right? This is what all of the colors are looking like swashed out. Super pretty colors. So I'm going to go ahead and give you guys up closest of each one. So the first color here is Lucky Charm. Again, it's a really beautiful kind of yellowish orange um, pastel color. Little Secret, which is this really beautiful Easter green. Orange Poppy, which is really more of a peachy orange color, um, but really pretty. Also good for the springtime. And then last but not least, we have this really gorgeous color in Treasure. And it's just absolutely beautiful. It's this pink um that has like these silver fine foils in it it almost kind of looks like a rose gold color so it's really really pretty i really like all of these colors today i'm going to do a really quick demo on how to do the optical illusion heart nails i've been seeing that 
Um, I've been seeing a couple of people do it. Most recently, I saw C's Tutorials do it on her channel, and she did it um, with a pop art spin on it, which I thought was really cool. But I'm just going to do it like the basic version so y'all can kind of see how to do it. But it's like an optical illusion within an illusion. So I do have a stiletto nail tip here, okay? And I'm going to be going in, I think I'm going to use these two colors here. I'm going to use Lucky Charm as well as Orange Poppy to do this design. And so it's really quick, simple, and easy. Um, I've done this design on my channel before. I am going to go ahead and leave um, a picture of what they looked like last time I did them. I added a little bit of bling and everything, but this time I'm going to do it with the spin by adding the heart on the inside of it. So first I'm going with Orange Poppy on the left side of the nail, okay? And when you do this design, you really just want to paint half of the nail. Okay, and then you'll do the other half of the nail with the other color. Okay, let's see. I, don't, I think I did a little bit more than half, but that's okay. <laughs> and then on the other side, I'm going to go in with Lucky Charm and paint over here. And the goal is going to be to try to blend them in the middle so that we can get that um, ombre effect. Yeah. I think I went too far in, so let me go ahead and clean that off here. Yeah, this design is really easy to do, but again, I think I went a little bit too far over with that peachy color. So I'm just gonna go down the middle and just wipe away some of that orangey color, okay? Like so. And I'm gonna take just a smidge more of it off of this side, like so. Because we want it to really fade and blend into the other side. Now I'm going to go in again with my Lucky Charm color and just try to get that as close to the middle as possible, okay? Like so. Yeah, that's perfect. Oops. Okay, and I'm just going to go ahead and thicken it up a little bit, make it a little bit more opaque. You want to make sure you don't contaminate your brush and if you do you just go ahead and wipe it off before you put it back in the bottle i'm going to go ahead and fill this side in just a little bit more like so okay and then i'm also going to just kind of go up top here and just kind of fill in that little gap we have all right so then from there, she did it a little bit of an easier way. See's tutorial, when I watched her tutorial, she did it a little bit easier. So she did a dotting tool, right? And she just went down the middle and just kind of swirled the two colors together, which I thought was kind of cool. It gave, I guess this gives it more of an easier blend. She just went down and just like swirled it together, like so. And then she just took a nail art brush and I'm gonna go in just with my ombre brush here and then she just kind of smoothed it out. So let's see if that works for me. Oh, snaps, I think it does. Look at that. Just as easy as one, two, three. Wow, you guys. Yep. Easy ombre. Look at that. And the color blends very smoothly into the other one. Yeah, I like that. All right, cool, so go ahead and cure. That is what the first coat is looking like. I'm gonna go in with a second coat of polish just to build up that opacity, okay? So this time I'm gonna go in with Lucky Charm first. And again, you just wanna paint half of the nail. So I'm just gonna paint half of the nail in this beautiful kind of yellowy orange color, like so. Okay. And that looks good. Then I'm gonna go in on the other side with orange poppy and paint the other side. I think I'm gonna just turn it this way like so. And again, you just want it to be right there at the middle. You want them to barely touch each other at the middle like so. And again, that's just to build up some opacity in the nail. Beautiful. I'm gonna go in with this yellow here. Just feel that in right there at the top. Okay. And so again, I'll go in with my dotting tool and then I'll just swirl the two colors together in the middle. Like so. Okay. And then I'll take my ombre brush again and I'll just smooth out the color like so. And that really does create like a perfect blend. I like that. Beautiful, you guys, beautiful. 
beautiful ombre. And so I'll go ahead and cure. This is what the nail is looking like with two coats of that. And that blend is just flawless, you guys. I love it. So the trick to this is to now paint the opposite color on top of the original color. So on the Lucky Charm side, so on the yellow side, I'm now going to paint this orange color on top, okay? And I'm going to go ahead and try to do it in the middle like I did before. So I'm going to do straight down like so. Okay. And then on the other side, now we're going to paint it yellow, okay? And this is what's going to create the illusion, the trick. <laughs> So we'll go ahead and paint this like so. Okay. Beautiful. be a little bit more opaque over here. Okay, like so. And then from there, you guys, you'll go ahead and swirl in the middle with the dotting tool again to mix the two colors. Like so. Okay. And then you'll go ahead and use your ombre brush. Smooth out the middle, like so. And now before you cure, now you want to draw a little heart in the middle, okay? So I have a so I have a round gel brush here, and I'm just going to dip it in some acetone, okay? And then I'm going to go in and try to carve out a heart, okay, y'all? Wish me luck on this. So you just want to go like this, okay? And again, the goal is to try to make a heart. <laughs> it's not looking so hot right now. Let me see if I can get the bottom of the heart going. Okay, so we got the bottom of the heart. And I just gotta figure out how to get the top. I think I need a liner brush for this. So I'm gonna go in with my liner brush. I'm gonna go in with my liner brush dipped in, in acetone here. And then I'm going to try to carve out that heart. And there we go. That's a little bit better. And there we go. And I'll continue to clean out the middle of it here with my acetone. Oh, super cute, you guys. I like it. It turned out really good. So I'm going to go ahead and cure. Yes, I love how this nail turned out. Super duper cute. So the last thing left to do is just go in with the top coat, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and top coat the nail. Very cool. Alrighty, go ahead and cure. This is what that optical illusion V-Day heart nail looks like. I think it is really pretty. Yeah, I think it turned out really good. I think the only thing I need to work on is just maybe sharpening up the heart design, but I think it's really cool. I can definitely see the illusion um, aspect of it. So yeah, y'all, I had a lot of fun playing around with these new Madame Glam polishes. Um, if you guys are interested, definitely hop on over to their website to check out their newly released collection, Pot of Gold. Special thanks to Madame Glam for sending these over for review. I do have a discount code with them. I'll leave it here on the screen as well as in the description box below. And yeah, if you want to check out their products, uh, you can do it at a discount. So yeah, I do upload every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. If you all like what you saw here, definitely stick around and join the happy family. I'd love to have you. And as always, you guys, leave some love in the comments down below. And I'll see you in my next video. I hope you all have a wonderful, awesome, spectacular day. Bye!